guys, it's Mel here from Mel W Scrapping. <clears throat> now, I'm here to bring you a layout that I am about to do for uh, Mixed Media Mayhem. Uh, for this week, I think MK picked it out, and it's another scrap lift. And I've now forgotten who it's by, which I'll pop on the information um, in the description box. That, so that's it. Now, my photo... At the top isn't as small, it's actually a large one. Um, I've got everything ready to go, so let's get this mixed media part done. Um, let's get some paper, work and paper. 100 million pieces out, I'll stick it around. I'm going to go off the edge there. I've got stuff everywhere. Right, I've mixed up a little bit of ink, um, so I'm just going to get this on there. Actually, that colour we want. So, it's prize ribbon. Just one thing of that. And then, mode lawn. Oh, my mode lawn is nearly finished. So, I'm doing my best to I'm going to go out here like that I'm just going to go everywhere to tell you the truth let's just see what we can get on here so it's the I'm using packaging technique and then I'm going to do some stamping so I wanted a sea greeny type colour. I didn't want just blue. So I'm just going to mix that. So I need to get some over here. So there's more white space on that person's, but I'm going to go with... Um, let's, let's just go one more time, just go like this, because I don't have that colour for splatters, so let's mix it together, well, let's just go splat, 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 splat. Like so. Now let's get this packed here. Wipe off our packaging. Alright. Done that bit. And we'll get our pack our paper towel and we'll just roll it over and pick it up. Hasn't really done much, has it? Anyway, let's just go with that. Right, I'm going to pop that to the side because I want to use that now. My big one is, I'm going to do, it's 2012 photos, so roughly going about here. Uh, we're going to get our black ink. It's, I'm just using the close to my heart. It's the old black ink. This stuff doesn't like to be mixed with water. This is the only round rubber stamp I could find and I just want to, I don't want to go as, I only want it to do second type. I don't want it to be as dark is what I'm getting at. I'm going to ink up. I haven't got any script. I don't have a script. Um, I have a stamp. I need to try and find one, to be perfectly honest. Right, so that's that one off. And out of that, I'll show you what that rubber stamp is in just a moment. Just get on 
more up down. <clears throat> the Close to My Heart Fireworks Fun Holiday. And it's this one here. So, now this one. So, we're going to go down here, like so. We might skip you over here. They might get hidden, but hey, we'll go with it. Right, what's that bit done? Copy that. Now, at the top, I think what we've got is white. So let's just stick a bit of, hang on, I need a bit more. Yeah, let's just go with that. <clears throat> we could actually let's just ink with black. Brown that in black. Um, we'll finish with the black. Somehow, up here, okay. we need a bit of texture paste going about there. There's some tape. So I just want a little bit of realness there. I have an absolute disaster area here. Now I can't even find the tool for my... There it is. I hope you guys can still see it. I'm going off a bit. Right. Texture paste. I'm just going white. I'm going to go over that a bit. I might even do the same thing down in this corner. Pass around the edge. So there's that bit. Oh. I'm take the paste off. Always take this off your stencils. Um, same as your glazes. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Right, the next bit of texture paste is going right down the middle with the dots. The only dots I could find, so I'm just going sporadically, I'm not doing anything. I don't think there's any texture paste up the top there. Let's just go with that. Okay, that's our texture paste done. I don't normally use the texture paste as white texture paste, so this is a first for me. Um, and I'll get that lid put on tight. And wipe that off. I'll do another white. And we'll clean this up. 
because tissue paste and glaze you really can wreck your stencils. <clears throat> now I only say that because I found out from experience. Okay, that one can now dry as well. Right, now I'm going to press pause and I'm going to go and dry this um, texture paste. And as you can see, some of the white texture paste, when it's gone onto the ink, has gone the sea greeny colour, which is good because that's what I wanted. Um, and then the white has stayed white. So hang on a minute, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I think I'm right. So we'll just go with it. We'll see how we go. <clears throat> now, we need foam tape. And we're going to pop our photo up now the other thing that i'm going to be doing is playing along with kristen from scrapping on the flies a leftovers to layouts i found this um piece of leftover and i made two leaves out of it on that side and then used it to back the photo and i found a piece of this card stock that i'd obviously tried to stamp on um, and I have managed to um, back those two photos so let's go on to those guys as well Done. I just need to I'll stick those up there and get some double sided tape in here. I found this piece of oh, I don't know what you call it, it's a real fibrous type of paper that I tore. Really long strands of fiber. I just inked over the top of that bit a little. I found some white and black um, scrap. To make you know, a bit of a, you know, um, I can't think of the word banner type thing. So we're going to do that there. We've got another banner for up the top, so down the bottom somewhere there. <clears throat> I'll need to decide on that if I can find scissors. Sort of banner. Alright, let's get this popped down. Oh, that's why I need to go onto there. Now that roughly went there. Which we can say can come down a little. Let's get some more tape onto here. Right. Get this little bit stuck down. I don't even know if I've got my rubber stamps in the correct place. I've got some little white flowers out. I've got some leaves. I've got some, um, a, a friend of mine that I got to meet um, that I was... Um, Through Chamel Lane's um, lives, um, she came down and we got to catch up, and she brought me some embellishments. And I'm going to use some of the white ones that she has. Teen truth, I don't know what it's made out of. I don't know if it's plaster or if plasticine or I don't know. I must ask Jean what she made them out of. They're really pretty, and I love them. And they're going to go with my other white flowers. So. I'm going to use some of the embellishments that Jean made me when she came down to, to meet me. Which I was definitely not expecting. Um, and it was so good to meet her. And talk scrapbooking. It was so good to talk scrapbooking to somebody. <laughs> right. Now these are two little photos. And we're going to go... 
it's not going to quite see it, is it? We really want to see the top, so if I move that bit up a bit, I'm probably going to rip paper here. I am. I'm pretty sure we can hide that. Go about there like that with our photos. I don't know if that's going to be in the correct place or not. Let's get this one pop, pop down and we'll go with embellishing it to the best we can. Oh, Memory Keep Art, I think that original is by, which is absolutely gorgeous. Right. Now this I did have little, this I've got some little marks there so let's just get that popped on like that. Right, now we had one little banner that came down. I'll make this one a bit thinner. So we'll go that up under. those there and there. I don't know if I'm going to use the sunflowers yet. These guys, I know exactly where they're going so they can go straight on. So I dug cut them out. It's just very fiddly to pop on. So we'll go on with that one. This one. All right, that's where that's going. The one that goes on my husband's head. These I have had. A friend of mine gave me these when she was cleaning out. A good friend of mine. Um, and we're going to use them. Now, I don't know if I've got any round ones left. I think that's going to put it up too high. So let's just use double-sided tape. Hopefully they will look alright. They are just a paper flower where they're going to need. Let's see if I can get them down. Right. Where the hell are we going with this? Okay, well, 
Is going up here. Not quite. Go on like that. And then fill up with these white ones. Now I do have to pop in, I need to stamp. Now I kept a Vicky Bruton stamp out. We might just use the little leaf. Don't know where my little small block's gone. I think it's somewhere I know it is. There it is. Where's our green that we just did? Gonna come out, turn out. Let's go the oxides and see what color they dry as. We'll go here like so. I'm gonna go here like so. Okay. Go to the cracked pistachio oxide. I don't need any anywhere else. Okay. okay, so we'll go with that one. Need. <clears throat> Did a couple of bits of um, testing before I started. So we'll go with take that one off because that's not anymore right this one's got Another one in for two. I don't know that this is going to be done absolutely brilliantly exactly alike, but I'm doing my best. It's more than I've ever done, I think, especially with flowers. Sorry, this this is going to this is going to be a long one because it I I um wanted to do as much as I could to show the different things that are on this um page itself um to get onto one. There's a lot. Oh, I haven't done that one down yet. So let's go that down. Go that would take those two. Might 
might come through, but um, that's okay. So we'll go on the Not really going exactly how I thought it was going to, but hey, we're getting there. Oh my gosh, yeah. The other ladies that are playing along with Mixed Media Mayhem, they'll probably be doing heaps better job than me. I'm not used to doing this much um, Mixed Media onto one page, especially when I don't have the exact things that that person's used. I'm trying to do it with all my own stash and make it look semi-okay. three left. I still haven't decided if I need to. I might still go some. I'm not going to get any in there so that's fine. Should have done that earlier. <coughs> oh excuse me. Now Just have a look. So come back and have a look at it. Um, now I was going to use the Simple Stories Summer Lovin' Sunny Days as my title. Well, I'll, no, it's not going to go. No, it's not going to go. So I'm not using that. Living the good life, keep cool, and 
get outside. Oh, aren't we just chilling in the seaside? Dive in and make a splash. Go that one over here onto there like so. Give me a good life there. And keep cool over here on my little labels. on there and you know what I might even finish off with I might finish off with some distress oxide uncharted mariner splatters that's what I'm going to do so let's cover the desk and protect the photos because heaven forbid we should have the same mess as last time where we had liquid red ink all over the joint Right, let's go with that. Okay, so Distress Oxide Spray Uncharted Mariner. Let's add some splatters. Get the sediment off the bottom. We're just going to splatter down in here. If I can keep hold of the bottle and not spill it absolutely everywhere. Right, there we go. That's what we're doing. That is our that is our layout. That is our mixed media. It's gone some on my flowers, but that's okay. Just flowers and character. I just need now now need to clean up my desk. Okay, so I'll lift it up and give you a bit of a Up. There you go, that's what we've done. Now we've used quite a bit of stash, like old stash, take that bit off there, uh, old stash and a little bit of new stash and old and scraps and you name it we've used it. So there you go everybody. Um, I was going to add a couple of butterfly stickers, but I think I changed my mind, so I don't think we can fit them in. Okay, so, uh, I will have, um, everybody playing along with Mixed Media this week, um, down below in the description box. I will also have everyone playing along with leftovers to layouts. They will also be down below in the description box. Now, also, what I'm going to start doing on my videos is a shout out to people. So, a couple of the YouTubers that haven't quite reached 500 yet or are on their way to reaching 1,000 um, subscribers, I'm going to give them a shout out. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put their names and their YouTube channels also down below in the description box. Now, all these people, they may not be doing... They may not be participating in mixed media me mixed media mayhem. Um, they might be doing leftovers to layouts, but they all deserve to be, you know, go and have a look at their things because they all do some fantastic layouts, and I mean fantastic. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, go and check everybody out that's playing along with the two things and the people that I do shout outs for. Check them out when you've got time. Subscribe to them if you're not already. Give them a like. Um, send them a comment. Maybe something you might like about their layout. Or same with the Mixed Media Mayhem ladies. Send them a comment about something you might like that they did this time round. Or, um, you know, you might want to have a go yourself. So if that's the case, press pause, take a screenshot and go for it and have a go. Um, 
this layout actually really worried me um, because I'm not having any of the um, stamps and things and I thought oh what am I going to do how am I going to make this look I had thought of these white flowers and then I sort of thought oh, I don't really want to go blue because I couldn't find photos to go with blue just straight blue um, and so yeah I was a little bit worried but I'm actually quite happy with how it's turned out um, other people might think yeah that looks a mess but I've been shying away from texture paste and stamps and things and I need to start using them because they actually do make a layout look quite special um, okay so at the same time if you do like what I've done if you could give me a thumbs up that would be fantastic um, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost to subscribe, like or comment to either myself or anyone in the description box below. Um, it doesn't cost you a thing to do, do any of those things. Um, at the same time, I'm going to stop talking now and say goodbye and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you everyone. Thank you to all my subscribers. And thank you because I've actually reached 500 subscribers and I'm absolutely grateful and ecstatic. Um, so keep an eye out for a hop coming along next month to help celebrate that um, goal. Didn't think I'd get that. So thank you everyone and I'm very grateful for you all watching my videos. See you next time.